Hey guys, Kevster V here. Today we're going to be talking about that vegan teacher again. If you guys don't know who that vegan teacher is, well, she tries to force you to become vegan no matter what the issue is. And she's basically one of those type of people. She's an actual Karen. And the, somebody called her Karen and she got mad about it. Watch, the, watch this. It's hilarious. John Robert Bell. Not only did you win the Hypocrite of the Year Award in 2020, it looks like you're going for it again in 2021. What's with this video? Talking about pronouns, like you give a shit how people want to be identified. Calling women a Karen. Maybe if you'd stop acting like everyone's mom, then everybody would probably stop calling you a Karen. Karen. Do you know what that does to my students who are younger? You just jump on the bandwagon and insult their name. A name that they were given to them. In the same way that somebody was given a skin color. Just don't fucking do that. Don't make fun of people's names. Not only that, you also insist on eating dead animals in front of animal rights activists. Like, way to go. What a great example to set. How about instead of being vegan phobic, you become vegan once and for all. You know what? I need more time to talk about this. I think I'm going to do a longer version video. I'll see you over on YouTube. Honestly, that's, that would probably be on one of my bucket lists is to eat meat right in front of a bunch of animal activists because I think it would probably be funny and it would probably set all of you off. Honestly, it would be hilarious. Well, all the ones that try to act like, well, you know, like this one, crazy one crazy crazy animal rights activists like how can animals even have rights like they can't even move i mean they can but they can't like talk or anything but yeah by the way on the tiktok tags she said that he was racist and homophobic yet yeah, it had nothing to do with him being racist or homophobic but literally made it in the tag i could i can't screenshot it i can't find the video anymore but i did download it so i could post it on this video Anyways, this ain't the only thing. She also went at Gordon Ramsay's daughter. I don't think this is actually Gordon Ramsay's daughter, but I think she thinks it's his daughter. But anyways, I'm gonna show you the video right now. I gotta go my own way. Gordon Ramsay has a daughter and she wants to go her own way? This is fucking fantastic! The apple doesn't have to fall right beside the tree. So anyways, she thinks she she's going vegan because she said she's going on her own way. Make it a TikTok, you know, like normal teenage girls like to do. They like to sing, lip sync on the TikTok app. But yet, this ain't even the case. She thinks she's talking about going vegan. It, it just It's so funny. It's so funny that she actually thinks she's going to turn vegan. It's hilarious. But this this ain't it, folks. She's also been going after a bunch of other people lately. Anyways, she was going after a dude named Justin Robert Bell, and no, I'm not talking about Drake and Josh. <laughs> those, those are Drake and Josh Bell. I'm talking about Justin Robert Bell. Justin Robert Bell is a TikToker, if you guys didn't know. He has like 4.5 million uh, followers. He is, uh, what's funny to me is that he has an LGBTQ uh, flag right behind him, right? But he came out as bisexual, and yet her tags said homophobic. I started to die laughing at that part, because I, I've seen some of his uh, videos on TikTok. But yeah, and she's also been going after that one dude, or that one dude, that one woman that was apparently Gordon Ramsay's uh, daughter or whatever, and she was just minding her own business, and then she literally just do it and said, oh my god, she's going her own way. Like, dude. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the TikTok that Lindsay Ramsey was minding her own business and making her own TikTok, that, then that vegan teacher posted a do it on it. Here's Here it is. I gotta go. As you guys can see, it's 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 a normal TikTok. So I don't know why that vegan teacher would just go on and just say, blah, 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 become vegan. She's going to become vegan. She's not becoming vegan. She never said anything like that. She said she's going on her own way with a music thing, a lip sync, like what most teenagers do. It just makes me mad that she thinks everyone's turning vegan. It's hilarious. And yes, I, you know, I'm I'm always down to eat any type of meat. I mean, not, hold up. I'm not talking about that. You get your weirdos. But like, dude. Come on now, you don't have to force everybody to be like, Oh my god, she's turning vegan, you're gonna turn vegan. Like, dude, come on now.
Like, you're like a 68-year-old woman trying to tell kids to become vegan. Like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> By the way, guys, I both got their names wrong. I, I meant to say John Robert Bell, and then the other girl, the girl's name was uh, Tin Tilly Ramsey. I kept on calling her Lindsay Ramsey. I called the other dude Justin Robert, or Justin Bell, or something like that. But anyways... Uh, that vegan teacher is like she is she is full on crazy like come on now I would not I would not love to meet her I'm sorry I'm I'm not that horrible of a person but she seems so crazy up in the head and like so if I ever went to her she's gonna be like eat this eat eat vegetables eat your vegetables anyways there is a uh Jacob Bell's video on that vegan teacher's channel. So we're going to watch a little bit of it and see what they're, they're both doing. I don't know why, but I keep on getting his name wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, let's look at this. I just listened to John Robert Bell's oral presentation, and I'm going to go over certain points that were made in other people's presentations that he failed to present. Let's begin by looking at... Wait, so you don't actually look at the video, you just look at the thumbnail and just try to point out your own opinions about freaking being vegan again? Come on now, just react to the video. Let's see what else she says. Gary Urofsky and Bite Size Vegan and their presentations. And then I'll be going through that and seeing what John did that was good and what John did that wasn't so good in his presentation. Because we're going in. Can you speak a little bit to the intersections of veganism and religion? Are there conflicts there? Can they? So let me tell you something about about little religion. I am Christian, so I'm just going to let you let everybody know that before I even start rambling about how vegans and omnivores are whole different. So apparently, in the Bible, it even says that you can eat certain types of animals. It specifically says that you can eat whatever you desire, but only the clean animals, not the dirty ones. Meaning pigs, cows, we're only supposed to eat lambs basically. But in the Bible, I think in one of the verses, I'm not trying to quote the Bible or anything, but it says in one of the Bible verses, as long as you stay healthy and eat, eat the meats that I give you or whatever that God says in the Bible, it says as long as you stay healthy, you're fine, which I'm obese. If you guys don't know, I'm actually obese, which is gluttony, I'm pretty sure, in the Bible. So yeah, don't get veganism and freaking religious people mixed up into their own things. I mean, I can understand vegan on certain religions, not Christianity. And the only conflict going on is that if you claim to believe in God and you murder God's animals, you're a murderer of God. You're not believing in God. You're not worshiping God. Something... Oh my gosh, do these people not read the Bible at all? Or do they just assume that it's hurting God's animals? Because in the Bible, it even says it. In Read the Bible. Read the Bible all the way to Leviticus, I think it was 2.14. Read it, please. Now, if you're a Christian and you're going to tell other people what's bad and what's not, no, that is not murder, you dummy. Murder is like killing a person, a human. No, nah, no. Nah. Oh my god, all of you are so crazy, like, I swear. It's like, it's like if you're gay or bisexual, Christians just come at you, which I'm not like that, guys, I'm not that type of Christian, but it seems like that way, if you're eating meat and somebody just says, oh my god, or oh my gosh, you're vegan, blah, 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 blah. you're not vegan, you're a bad person, you're a murderer, haha, -ha. you're Hitler in my eyes, that's basically what they're saying. I've noticed that it's horrible. Religious people, and I don't care what religion you are, they never worship anything that God actually created. They only worship things that we created in God's name. Bibles, crosses, churches, synagogues, Korans, mosques, the stars of David, the wailing wall, phony images of Jesus. And by the way, let me just put this out there. If you believe in Jesus and believe he was a white guy with blue eyes and blonde hair from the Middle East, Okay, you're not in fucking reality. There are no white people with blue eyes and blonde hair naturally born in the Middle East. So everything about religion has to do with made up shit. Now, I believe in God. As I say, all these people are like, no, I, I love God. I'll proudly say it. 
Okay, but I don't believe in the organized religious God that people have made up. I see God in trees. I see gods in the God in. As you guys can see, this is uh, basically a stupid video that I've basically been making, and I'm my brain's just hurting by this guy saying like that. No, whites. Wouldn't I be considered white because I'm Latino? No, I mean. I have a Latino in my blood. Or, yeah. oh, my. Anyways, God created everybody. Especially this stupid bald guy. I don't even know what he's even saying. Like, dude, read the Bible. I don't think this dude's ever read the Bible. Alright, well, I hope you guys did. Uh, this is the end of this video because I'm not listening to st any more stupid people. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with a three. Peace.